next topic. Uh, boom. This was, uh, yeah, there was a feature on NHK the other day. This slide is in Japanese, but allow, allow me to explain. Um, so apparently this week actually marked the, seven, the 75th anniversary of universal suffrage uh, for where since men and women could vote. Apparently uh, 1946, which would have actually been during the GHQ occupation of Japan uh, right after World War II, uh, women were allowed for the first time uh, equal voting rights to men in Japan. And uh, remarkable statistic there that apparently, um, you know, in 1946, after those first elections, when women were both able to run and vote in uh, the parliamentary elections for the first time, the result was 39 women were elected, representing 8.4% uh, of the Diet at the time. Um, Zoom forward, of course, uh, you know, 75 years, I mean, uh, so much has progressed, of course, and... Uh, Japanese society no different now there is an astounding growth to 46 representatives representing 9.9 percent of people in parliament are women um, so uh, yeah some might say that uh, an increase of 8.9 percent uh, 8.4 percent to 9.9 percent uh, since 1946 means Japan practically hasn't changed since when they just gave women the vote and you might say that, but you see, if you've ever had a savings account in a Japanese bank, you would understand that, you know, normally interest, I thought it was like a, a prank or it was a typo when they first showed the interest on your post office uh, bank account of 0, 0.00 something percent or 0, 0.0 something percent. Um, you know, it's kind of a slap in the face, the interest that they give. If you think of, um, you know, in representation of women in parliament in terms of a post office bank savings account, although you know what, even then it would probably be higher than 9.9% by now representation. But you know, from those persp from that perspective, um, that, would that would explain the uh, very, very small incremental numbers, as I've talked about in the previous week's show. What's really frustrating about this, I mean, apart from the fact that Japan is nine places behind Saudi Arabia, um, in international parliamentary representation rankings, um, you know, it's something which Japan, because it has a proportional representation system, it has a system that, frankly, they could put anybody on the list that they like. Um, you know, par parties actually decide all the time to set voluntary quotas. All the government has to do is decide what to do with its party list. Um, and it can it can automatically just increase or manipulate the number of women as it sees fit. Now, granted, of course, you want people who actually want to be parliamentarians and you want people who are qualified and will be good for it. But there again, I mean, the qualification issue clearly hasn't been an issue for a lot of the people who are in parliament. Uh, and not just in Japan, by the way. And, you know, there's all sorts of people who decide, hey, one day I'm, I'm going to run for parliament. I've never run for parliament before. Sometimes, And sometimes you get, I mean, New Zealand's prime minister, I think is, I think she's uh, Jacinda's still in her 30s. Um, you know, um, some people obviously do it because they're, they're, they're good for it. And, but other people do it just simply because they are interested in representing their community or a, or, or a group of the community. And there are plenty of women who uh, work in, uh, for example, um, NGOs, uh, community sort of charity organizations who work as civil servants, uh, who are in various forms of public service um, and, you know, would have backgrounds, which I think they could be picked up for. Um, it is I mean, uh, pretty awful. <laughs> Uh, that uh, again, and, and, and you know, I, this is this is a couple of weeks after these pretty shocking World Economic Forum statistics came out. But uh, and, and again, the fact that um, NHK was pointing out they actually found, as you can in Japan, they, when they have the 75th anniversary of universal suffrage, they can actually find someone who voted in 1946 and ask her what she thinks. And um, yeah, even even then, people are sort of like, yeah, it hasn't really changed, has it? <laughs> And that's still the case. It's, it's not an easy problem to fix, but um, surely you can do something. I mean, you'd like to think that the country could have moved forward a little bit more. So, yeah, that is an embarrassing uh, number. So all of that said, apparently out of the proportional list, um, so, Jose Hire, uh, Hiritsu, Kakokai no Jose Hiritsu, Niju, so... Actually, I should. So maybe the 9.9% is overall uh, representation, and the 25.5% is a parliamentary representation. Still ranks Japan very, very low, and it is the the the, the greatest ever. But it still is embarrassingly low. So yeah, it just shines a light on a topic I talked about last week for from a different thing. But um, the fact that it wasn't even commemorated, um, you know, the w women getting the vote, which is a big deal. Half of the population getting. I mean. It's hard to say the country's really democratic, you know, un until women get the vote. Um, 
So, you know, this is kind of the 75th anniversary of democracy in a way. Uh, and I think that's the way that all democratic countries should mark their day of universal suffrage, uh, as well as civil rights, as well as a equal, you know, basically equal voting rights without discrimination based on race or, um, or gender, you know, which actually... And bear in mind, you know, uh, this is not a, a problem unique to Japan. Gender was generally, I, I think Ohio was a state was the, the first and New Zealand was the first country. Uh, we came just after Ohio um, back in the 1870s. But, um, you know, if you factor in things like uh, racial restrictions on voting, I mean, Australia took until like the 1960s or 90, early 1970s. Um, you know, uh, so South Africa took until the 1990s. So, you know, uh, I, I don't know, people, I, I think countries really should celebrate. I, I, I realize it's kind of embarrassing, <laughs> but in Japan's case, it was relatively not so bad in terms of when it did this, but the, it's more the progress that it's made since, and I think that's why the day should be marked more. So that's what I think about that. It's